Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am very very excited to be able to show you our pink kitchen. This video will be divided into two parts. The first part will be the home cafe and then the second part will be the kitchen where I cook in. So without any further ado, let's start with the video. So allow me to show you this area first. So this is my home cafe. This space is actually intended for a kimchi refrigerator, but we don't make kimchi, so I thought we don't really need another refrigerator. So instead, I put my home cafe in here, which is perfect. And what is a home cafe? It is actually a big trend now in Korea. It's basically making your own coffee slash your tea or even a dessert at a comfort of your own house. Of course, with the use of very cute tools and equipment. So allow me to show you this area first in the middle probably because it has one of my most favorite thing in the whole home cafe so this is my pink smeg coffee maker and this is actually a gift from my husband last birthday uh, before it was my dream to have you know the pink smeg refrigerator but I heard that in Korea if you buy that one the after service is not that good so the next best thing is a coffee maker because I love 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 drinking coffee and since it is a favorite of mine, allow me to show you how I make coffee in the morning. So first, I put water at the back over here, and then I press the on and off button. And then, as you can see, there are two buttons here, which is blinking. So the first one is one shot of coffee, and the second one is two shots. And then, as it is blinking, I put my ground coffee in here. And then I put it back by turning it from left to center. And then when the blink stops, I usually press the two shots. And then after that, the coffee will start dripping. And that is the most satisfying sound in the morning. After that, I usually put the coffee. So over here, as you can see, there is a third button. And when I press it, it will start blinking again. When it stops, that's the time that I pull this down and it will start pressing the milk. And then I put my frog fed milk onto my coffee and voila, my perfect morning coffee. So that's my Smeg coffee maker. Beside that one is another pink Smeg equipment, which is the kettle. And this one I bought it for myself. I thought it was so expensive. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, probably around 200,000 won, about 8,000 or 9,000 pesos. I know it is expensive for a kettle but for how many times I use this one I think it's still worth it and of course I know that I'm paying for how it looks like and of course the brand's name and I believe that Smeg has the perfect pink color for their equipment so I am a big big fan of Smeg so anyway this kettle is the newest version they have the old version uh, the difference is the temperature controller so as you can see over here there are numbers so you can pick the temperature that you wanted and also there is a button in here so that the temperature that you picked it can be maintained for about 20 minutes so that's the newest version the old version doesn't have that one so now over here is my cake stand and I really didn't intend it to be like that but I mainly buy this one for the purpose of decoration and on top of the cake stand there are three macaron candles and I really like this one I never liked this one because I wanted it just as a decor so I don't want it to be black here on top and it looks like a real macaron plus it smells really really good and then after that in the middle part I have the short glasses I really like the looks of this it looks very vintagey and then on the bottom I have my mug which is a Hello Kitty one I think I have this one for already four or five years probably I really like this one it's one of my most favorite mugs because I like Hello Kitty and then it's pink and then it has polka dots so it's a perfect mug for me then over here I have my newest uh, glass and this is a Snoopy one and I'm not really a big fan of Snoopy but I just like the design of this and then this one is just another Becker. I got it for free when I bought one whole pack of kiwi. I just thought that it looks really cute, so I didn't throw this one. 
And then here at the back, I just put some fake flowers. So they are in different colors of tulips, pink, and then white. And also at the back, I really like this one as well because it is double purpose. It acts as a great decor. And also this is actually a container for tea. So you can put your tea inside, but I put some barley mainly. And when you put it there, you can open this one in front to get your tea. So that's that. And I really like the decor of this. It looks very vintage and also it's in pink color. Another one over here at the back. I also really like this one because it's double purpose again. It acts as a great decor and you can also put your pot, you know, the hot pot on top. Uh, pot holder I don't know how to say that one but it has a really nice uh, decor also very vintage looking so that is how the middle part looks like so now I'll show you the one on top so let me start over here this are my ground coffee and I just put it in a tray it's not pink I haven't found the perfect pink tray yet and then at the back is the Illy one this Illy coffee or this Illy brand is really popular now in Korea and then this two ground coffee, they're actually from Starbucks. I just transferred it in this container because I think that looks much neat. And this one is mocha and then another one is cinnamon. And actually between the two, the Illy and the Starbucks, I still really prefer Starbucks. It has a really good aroma and the taste. It also is really good. And then I just have here a scoop for the ground coffee. So yeah, that's that. And then over here, I also really like the things in here. So this is my cup and saucer. This one is not branded. I just find it really, really cute. So it's pink, it has flowers, and it is polka dots. And then after I bought this cup and saucer, I saw this one. And this is from Royal Albert. I didn't know about Royal Albert before and when I found out, I got so obsessed and it's really cute but super duper expensive. So I just bought this teapot instead of the set because it's just too expensive. I think this teapot cost, I cannot really remember, probably I'll just put it in the description down below. But I really love this one. And then over here on top are my collection of glasses. I really love my collection of glasses as well. So the first one in here is a flamingo with pineapple. I kind of regretted that I bought three of this. I should have bought, you know, like different kinds. So yeah, that's that. That's why I have two. One over here and then one over here. And then the next one is a strawberry glass. This one, I really, really like the design of this. It is a goblet, so it looks vintage as well. So there's palm springs. Really like that one. And then another goblet is a shorter version. So it has this polka dots around. Looks really cute. This one, I'm not really a big fan, but I still like this one. It has hearts all over. Then after the glasses collection, I have mugs over here. This one, I think, uh, I think everything is really a favorite of mine, but this one I really, really love. Uh, this is from Starbucks, and I usually look out for cups, mugs from Starbucks, especially during spring because they really release really cute things during spring season. So this one, I remember I was still in Philippines at that time and when I saw it on the internet, I contacted my husband and asked him to buy this one for me. So I like the cover. I think it's a perfect match for this mug. And then the next one is another Royal Albert. Actually, this is the first thing that I bought from Royal Albert. I don't know why I bought a green one instead of a pink. So yeah, it's kind of weird, but I still like green. I mean, it really matches with pink color. So that's that. And then this one is really, really nice as well. Actually, I bought this one from a vintage store here in Korea. They have Instagram, which I'll be putting here. I think the name of their store is Merry Mood. And I think they also shipped internationally. So if you're interested, you can follow them. And this is a Dumbo mug. I'm not really a big fan of Dumbo, but when I saw this one, I fell in love with it because it's super unique. 
and I think if I can remember perfectly this mod is even way way more expensive than the Starbucks one because I bought the cover separately so probably combination I think I paid about 2,000 pesos just for this mug but I thought that it's super unique nobody or no one else will have this one so yeah that's why I bought it quickly here on top I also have a tea and also it acts as a decor so this too I bought this from England and actually this is a shortbread container and this one I think it's really the tea inside finished the cookies already so I just replaced it with some tea inside and then this one I also bought in London when we traveled there so this is from TWG their green tea and then this one is from Japan and I already finished the tea inside so I replaced it with my favorite brand of tea which is from Oslo and then this one is a cold brew coffee I just find the bottle so decorative and I really love drinking cold brew when it's mixed with black milk so you should try that one going down here is our microwave and this one my husband bought this one recently I asked him to buy me this one because the black microwave, you know, the old one we have, doesn't really suit my home cafe. So I'm very, very thankful for my very supportive husband that he bought me this pink microwave. And this is from Samsung. And actually, this is also really good because it acts as a microwave and also as an oven. And over here is my pink plate collection. So the first one, I'm really, really proud of this one. This is from Royal Albert as well for a small plate like this it's very expensive i think it costs about 1500 pesos but yeah the quality is really nice and also you know it looks really nice as well so this one is a set so this is from i think the beauty and the beast or something but i cannot really see the connection so the big one and then there's this small one and then over here i'm not really a big fan of this salad plate because in picture it looks really cute but when i saw this one i feel that it's so loud you know the pattern and then over here this one i also bought from a vintage online store here in korea so it is from germany yeah i really love the design of this it's so big yet you can put very little in the middle but the design i really love once again the flower and then polka dots and then plate this is from japan so it's also a vintage plate i also really love the pattern the plaid and then the flower and then i also really love the color of the pink in this plate so that's all for my pink home cafe tour i hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for my part two pink kitchen tour have a great day bye